Hi, I'm Ben Canning, and this lecture is on acceleration on velocity graphs. As always, you need three or more bullet points worth of notes, so one to two sentence summary, and to do any follow-up questions on a Google form attached to this. So before we jump into looking at velocity graphs, let's take a look at position graphs real fast, just as a little recap. Now remember that the slope of a position graph, uh, position time graph, is going to be velocity. So basically, the steepness of the line tells us how fast something is going. Or in other words, it tells us how much the position changes each second. If we uh, had something that was accelerating, then we expected to see curvature in it because it's going faster and faster, so the slope needs to be greater and greater. And namely, we could tell how fast something was going by how steep or flat the line is, where something speeding up started flat and then went to a steeper slope, or like this one started flat and then went to a steeper slope, but just in the negative direction. And things slowing down start with a steep slope and then end with a flat slope, um, kind of like this one here, but again, just in opposite directions. So that brings me to our look at acceleration as it relates to velocity. So before, when we looked at that distance equation, we saw a squared term in there, but now what we're looking at is something that looks much more linear. In fact, it almost looks exactly like y equals mx plus b, just kind of switched around a little bit. So that's going to give us a hint at what we should expect to see for constant acceleration on our velocity graphs. So the first things first, let's take a look at constant velocity graphs. So ones where there is no acceleration or the acceleration is zero. Um, in these types of graphs, uh, remember that it's velocity on the y-axis. I've got, went ahead and highlighted that for us. But in these types of graphs, uh, what we see is flat or horizontal lines showing that the velocity is literally staying constant with respect to time. Here, the velocity is always at zero. Here, the velocity is at a constant positive velocity. Let's pretend that's five. And then here, it would be at a constant negative velocity. The uh, similarity between all of these is their slope is zero, or in other words, they're flatter. So that gives us a hint at if uh, velocity is how kind of steep a position graph is, and velocity is like change in position, then a change in acceleration will tell us kind of how steep the, or sorry, change in velocity will tell us how steep the velocity graph is change in velocity is just acceleration. So here what we're looking at is cases where there's no acceleration or zero, the slope is zero, which means that when we start to see acceleration, what we would actually see is a positive slope. So here we've got a graph showing a positive acceleration because we can see the velocity is increasing with time. Here we show a graph with negative acceleration because we can see uh, the velocity is uh, getting more and more negative with time. Now we have to keep uh, in mind that sometimes we're going to have situations where the uh, velocity crosses the x-axis. Remember, that means a change in direction. So here we had something that started at zero and went more and more in the negative direction. Um, and so that was what a negative velocity was or directed in the negative direction. But if it had already started with a positive velocity, then a negative acceleration would cause it to slow down until it got to the origin, which is zero, or not origin, the x-axis, which is zero velocity. And then it would begin to speed up in the opposite direction. More on that in a future video. But here, basically what we're looking at is what I just described, kind of shown to you in both scenarios. Um, but in this case, anytime the slope is positive, that means it's a positive acceleration. Anytime the slope is negative, that means it's a negative acceleration. The way we tell whether or not something is speeding up or slowing down is just whether or not it's getting closer to the x-axis, which would be zero velocity, or whether it's getting further away from the x-axis, which would be where it's getting faster and faster in that direction. So um, in this case, like I said, the steepness of the graph tells you the acceleration, which brings me to the idea that we can actually calculate acceleration based on the slope. So if slope is rise over run and our rise is in velocity, but our run is in time, then that means that we get um, acceleration from it, where literally we can look at a change in velocity going from zero to 16, divided by a change in time going from zero to four. And that gave us a acceleration of four meters per second squared. Hope that helps. Main story, uh, slope on a velocity graph tells us our acceleration. Um, as always, you need three or more bullet points worth of notes, one to two sentence summary, and to do the follow-up questions on any Google Forms.